Hello everybody, welcome to my Dwarf Guide for Blood Bowl 3. Let's see what Cyanide says. Block skill is widespread among players for strong points. Yep, it absolutely is. Players are incredibly robust, they are. Armour 10 plus and thick skull. Weak points, players are very slow. Yes, they are unbelievably slow. That is the massive thing. They are slow and aren't agile, so they're really, that is such a massive, massive, massive weak point. You've got to play around it at every stage of the game. Uh, no true ball carrier is idiotic. They have a great ball carrier, so I don't know what they were thinking there. Um, yep, yeah, so let's let's go into it. Use the amazing feature of Blood Bowl 3 of just being able to load a good template. Well, create your own templates. It's just amazing. Hopefully, it, do, it doesn't save the, t the player names. Hopefully, it will save the player names. Uh, in the final version, that would just be amazing because then you'd have everything and the customization as well. Like that would be completely incredible. So this is this is what I would run with. Uh, I wouldn't consider any other team build for dwarves in the Blood Bowl 2020 or second season or Blood Bowl three, whatever you want to call it. In this rule set, I wouldn't consider any other starting roster. Uh, two additional dedicated fans, which don't count on TV. That's why it's 980. Two rerolls, troll slayer, runner, two blitzers absolutely perfect you can add a, a second runner later if you want but this this like just or you could start with two runners and no troll slayer i guess um but you know this or you could even start without the dedicated fans and a second runner if you want so that you've got a little bit of flexibility of different starts but uh this is this is what i would do 100 percent. so yeah the runner is what he is he's your ball carrier six three three four plus passing and so you know a bit worse at passing than he was AV9 plus, so mostly the same as he was. Now this is very interesting. He is he is unlike every other player in uh, in Blood Bowl really, because he is your number one ball carrier, your only ball carrier. He wants block on primaries. He wants dodge on agility on secondaries, and he wants stats. All he wants is stats. He wants blodge because he's already got shoe hands. He just wants stats. So you could even just start rolling for stats. It depends how much you want agility and strength if, and how long the, you know, everything about the format. But, you know, really all he needs is movement eight and blodge. So you could just take a uh, block and then dodge and then just automatically get movement. Um, but if you wanted to try and get strength and agility, you could start rolling for stats earlier. And if you miss strength or agility, then you can take the dodge. And then try and get movement strength and agility. You know, like they'll be they'll be ubiquitous movement eight runners. Like, and it's incredible. It's so so good being able to get him plus movement guaranteed, and obviously strength or agility would be amazing on him as well. So yeah, runners are going to be absolute stat freaks in uh, in Blood Bowl three. Okay, blitzers pretty decent eighty k. You can have two of them five three three four ten. So pretty much the same as they were in Blood Bowl two. Block and thick skull. So they want, surprisingly enough, guard. <laughs> Pretty much nothing else, you know. Mighty Blow and Stand Firm are both fine. But just guard, Mighty Blow, Stand Firm. And, and that's all you take on them. You could random because there's only there's only 10 choices, right? You can't actually get strong arm because um, it's throw teammate only. Uh, yeah, plays with throw teammate only. There's a 12th skill which isn't here, which I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. So... While Juggernaut is not great, it wouldn't be terrible to have. Power Driver's terrible. Grab wouldn't be terrible for 10k. Armbar's terrible. Break Tackle's terrible. Brawler's terrible. So you'd re you'd be, you know, but you'd be looking to hit three. You'd be very happy with two. You'd be okay with for 10k. So you can absolutely random strength on them, especially first skill, right? And then you've got a really you you know, you've got a one in nearly a one in three chance of getting a really good skill for cheap. Uh, but you know it's it's important to get guard as well, so I wouldn't hate just picking guard on them. And yeah, that's it. I mean, you could you could try and roll for strength after that, save up and try and roll for strength. But mostly just guard, mate. Well, stand firm is is all you'll ever need. In whichever order, I mean, guard first, but stand firm is super good as well. So here's the troll slayer, block dauntless frenzy, thick skull, just the same as he was. Five three four. He can't pass at all. Nine plus armor. So. Now he's a bit different, right? He can't get panning on Mighty Blow, which was the main main thing that I wanted for them. You know, you used to have to have panning on in your old teams, and he was the only real player that could dedicate to getting it. 
Now he probably just wants to be boring and go mighty blow guard. <laughs> he can't get grab, right? So it, it makes him an interesting one to roll doubles for because you can't get strong arm or grab. And you quite like Juggernaut on him. So you're 50 50 to get a good skill for 10k. So, you know, probably want to random on him. Try to get any of these. They're all okay. Stand firm, of course, to stop counter surfs. Guard because it's guard. Mighty blow because it's mighty blow. <laughs> so yeah, he's just they're just I mean, dwarves are a boring team anyway at the best of times, right? And now with this new system of leveling makes them even more boring. Block tackle thick skull for long beards, 70k. 434. Got a bit worse at passing as most players did. And they just take guard, mighty blow, and stand firm. <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing else to do. Uh, that's it, simple as that. You could arguably um, then save for dodge and try and spam dodge. Again, depending on format. You could also try to get defensive as well. Um, it wouldn't be terrible to, to do. It would. It's just cost too much TV. I just think it's terrible. I just think you want. I, I would only take guard, mighty blow, and stand firm, personally. And, and consider random, randoming them as well. So yeah, pretty amazing. Uh, there's, there is the Death Roller, so let's have a look at that. Okay, so here's the Death Roller. I would never take this uh, competitively. Um, it can be fun, I guess. If you want to have fun and you think this is fun, then fair play. He's got Dirty Player plus two, which is pretty good. So you could actually save up and just get him Sneaky Git and foul a lot with him. Um, is okay, I guess. He's moved four, strength seven, edge is only five plus, and AB eleven. And unfortunately, he gets he gets pretty much screwed by the way uh, the way break tackle works now. It only gives him plus two, so he only gets a three plus instead of what would have been a one plus in the old rules. So his his cage diving ability is much reduced. But you know, he's still got mighty blow, juggernaut, stand firm, all the rest of it. Secret weapon is what makes him terrible. His loner has been reduced to a 5+. plus. So yeah, I mean, as far as skill goes, obviously guard. And then pile driver isn't that bad on him because he can foul with plus 2. And he's going to get sent off anyway. So, But yeah, I mean, it's, it's trash. I'm never going to take it. But you know, you can take it for fun, right? And it, it's, it's, it's basically worse than he used to be because the loner is even worse on him now. Um, and TV efficiency is more important in the new rules due to star players being more effective. But, you know, if you want to take him because it's fun, fair enough, but just don't expect him to be any good, <laughs> basically. Okay, so there you go. There's the there's the dwarf team. Uh, pretty much unchanged, except they really redraft well because they don't need because they don't need many skills and they only need uh, they only need primaries. They're just a really great redraft team. Um, they're going to be so much like they're going to be so strong in like short leagues with with strict redrafting limits. They're going to be amazing in that kind of format. Absolutely dominant in my opinion. And also, you know, they can make super runners as well. They can have that on the side because they can cut so deep. Like you can cut to zero rerolls. You can cut to no apple. You can cut to mostly linemen. So you can just make very very you know. TV efficient, low TV teams to, to cut back to, you know, with a bunch of dwarf one season old players with guard and a multi season runner, things like that. You can just do all sorts of things with them redrafting. Uh, really, really powerful in redraft. Really powerful just a low TV team with stars, you know, they can get Morgan Thorg and Griff Overwald. So they, they can just be, they're just a great TV efficient team now and just, yeah. They're, they're pretty they're pretty disgusting <laughs> there you go even better than they were so there you go that's it thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic